Well, g'day everyone. Wanted to talk to you today about something that I found from a company called OWC. Uh, originally, uh, a lot of people on the internet are saying that they believe that the new Max, the M1 Max, were sharing the bus for the Thunderbolt ports, which means that even though you only have two ports on there, they did believe that they were sharing that bandwidth. If they were on the same bus, it means if you connected two devices to that, uh, the performance would obviously suffer because it only has so much bandwidth that can come through uh, from that. But it turns out that it's not true. It actually turns out that uh, both of the Firewire, or both of the Thunderbolt uh, ports on the back of, well, for this instance, it's talking about the Mac Mini, uh, are on separate buses, which is incredible. Uh, now you can add things like uh, hubs and things like that to it, and I'll explain what this is about. So let me switch over to the document that's uh, down here, and I will share this down below if you're interested in having a look at this. Um, but they're saying basically Thunderbolt on the M1 Mac Mini when two actually does equal four. Now, I'm not sure whether the other devices like the uh, MacBook, 13 inch MacBook Pro and the Air have this same. Um, uh, hardware, so that'll have to be tested, I suppose. I, I think it would be the same, but it will ha need to be tested. But they're saying, like, if you, if at, at the moment, if you have a 16 inch MacBook Pro, uh, you have four Thunderbolt ports. Now they're sharing uh, the same bus for two each. So, in other words, there's uh, two ports sharing the one bus on one side and two ports sharing uh, the other side. Uh, so you have four ports, but they are sharing, but at least you have the four ports that are connected on separate buses. Now, it looks like that the Mac, the uh, the uh, Mac Mini, the buses are completely separate. So what um, some early reviewers were saying about them sharing the data is not actually true. And like I said, this is a bit, has a big advantage because you're going to be able to put something like a hub on, or if you want to, to run two really high-end bits of hardware, like a RAID system or something like that, um, that you will be able to put them into each of the ports and have full speed. Now, the whole document just keeps going on about this is the uh, MacBook Pro uh, for instance like the uh, MacBook Pro 16 how you can have your two ports uh, coming in but they do share the one controller on each side uh, and it says when you look down at your system uh, it actually shows that there is a Thunderbolt bus 0 and a Thunderbolt bus 1 so that's showing you that they both are separate buses uh, and it says you can confirm it if you check this like I said I'll leave this uh, link down below well it looks like uh, the they're saying things are different on the M1 Max. We received the first M1 Mac last week and I've been using it ever since to debug and test the ARM version of the soft RAID uh, driver. So in other words, for RAID drives. The first thing that I noticed was that the system report indicated that there were two Thunderbolt buses, just like my 219 16-inch MacBook Pro. And you can see there that this is the Thunderbolt, uh, this is the M1 Mac, and it is showing Thunderbolt bus 0 and Thunderbolt bus 1. So again, this is... Fantastic. So it looks like there's uh, two uh, buses on there. Now it says, um, wow, that's unlike any other Thunderbolt or Quick Mac I've ever used. System report indicates that there are two Thunderbolt buses, one for each of the Thunderbolt ports. This means that each port has its own dedicated bus and doesn't have to share its bandwidth. And that's where I'm saying it's important if you're connecting two high-end devices onto this, um, like even your fast hard drives and things like that, the SSDs, uh, with any other port. Each one will have a uh, 2,800 megabytes a second all to itself. Uh, and I, But he said, uh, or the writer said, I was a bit sceptical, so they decided to test this for certain. So what they did was... They grabbed a RAID system. Now, they're using four NVMe's SSDs. Now, they're very, very quick. Uh, and they've put them in a RAID system and put it as RAID 0. So you'll get, you know, fa very, very fast performance from these drives. Uh, and they connected them. Now, it said that if the two Thunderbolt ports share the same bandwidth, I will not be able to read or write faster than two 800 megabytes a second, the, single, the limit of a single Thunderbolt bus. If the two ports are indeed 
on separate Thunderbolt buses, I will see better performance. Um, so I think what's happened is this connects to both uh, both ports. I think that's how this will work. Um, anyway, what it does, it, it went up to 3,527. So it's over that theoretical, or it is over that maximum of two 800 megabits per second. So they're saying in here, um, the results using the AJA system test show that the two Thunderbolt ports of the Mac, uh, the M1 Mac, are indeed separate Thunderbolt buses as I get over 3,500 megabits per second reading from this my Stripe volume. So it looks like they are completely separate independent buses, which is um, amazing because everyone wasn't aware of that. Uh, actually happening. Now it's saying what about only being able to connect two Thunderbolt devices to these M1 Max? Well it says uh, I may have the same bandwidth from two Thunderbolt ports on the M1 Max as I have on the Intel Max but I can still only connect two devices directly and that's because they're saying there's only two ports as against four that's on the uh, 16 uh, uh, MacBook Pro. Well it says basically something here can help you and it's talking about Thunderbolt 4 and this is the thing that they're saying that's great about Thunderbolt 4. Now they're saying that Macs have had the, the ability to uh, have Thunderbolt 3 features all along and that gives you features uh, like um, having extra hardware protection things like that. Um, but basically it's saying that Thunderbolt 4 gives you extra features and it says these features include 40 gigabytes a second Thunderbolt ports, um, support for charging laptops over Thunderbolt and protection from malicious hardware. So that's what Macs already have on them. The one feature in Thunderbolt uh, 4 new to the Mac is support for Thunderbolt hubs. So it's uh, version 4 of Thunderbolt um, that gives you the ability to attach uh, hubs to these um, machines and that's what's great about this so what they've done is OWC and I've ordered one of these uh, and I'm not being paid by them I've paid my own money for this uh, they've given you the ability to put a thub uh, a thub <laughs> they've given you the ability to put a hub uh, onto one of the ports which gives you all the extra ports that you need um, and it's saying basically here uh, before I show you that, I'll just say, uh, I'll show you this. It says, uh, Thunderbolt Hub, for instance, the OWC one, gives you more ports to connect Thunderbolt devices in the same way that Intel Macs have two Thunderbolt ports connected in a single Thunderbolt bus. So in other words, you've added the ports onto that and it's sharing that uh, single bus. But at least you can add extenders uh, like you, you do in the MacBook Pro 16. So I'll show you the hub itself. So let me just open up this. So this is the hub that I've just bought. Um, so it's called the OWC Thunderbolt Hub, uh, and it gives you, uh, you can have three independent daisy chains on this. You can have five ports connected. Uh, I'm just saying there's holiday savings at the moment. Um, it's saying that you can have, it has five ports. It has four Thunderbolt port USB-C ports plus one USB-C A port uh, and it has you can run 4k or 8k displays you can run two 4k displays through this uh, and you can also charge a laptop up to 60 watts with charging power um, and this is the hub down here uh, and it shows you that it's $149 uh, to purchase this, that's US, uh, and you can pre-order it. I think they were saying it's going to be delivered around about um, the 15th or something of this month. Uh, it looks like it's nice and small. Uh, there's a Thunderbolt port at the front and a USB, and then you've got your three Thunderbolt and USB-C ports on the back. Uh, and you can see sort of the setup down here, how it's uh, nice and small and it'll certainly fit in uh, with uh, what you need. It also has the ability to disconnect your drives uh, and things like that from uh, software that connects uh, as well. So I just thought that I'd share you this um, because it seems like a really good uh, solution. Now I do have a Belkin hub as well that I use, but I think what I'll do is I'll keep the Belkin hub on one uh, Thunderbolt port and then the other Thunderbolt port, I'll attach this uh, OWC uh, Firewire hub and then I can attach more devices to that. So it looks like we do have great solutions. And again, it just makes the M1 Mac even better because everyone thought those buses were being shared and in fact they're not they're totally independent if you have any questions leave them down below uh, apart from that guys i'll see you all in the next video bye for now